All right, Anadil, the uh, topic is simply identified in the attention device, and I think it could be a little bit more uh, creative than that. I did like the uh, exit line, though, at the end of the speech. I thought that worked pretty well. Uh, organization is uh, solid. For the most part, you're doing signposting internally, so it's easy to follow. I think that there is not enough discussion of the controversy at the beginning, you've got the statistics that you present on the researchers, and you're willing to accept those conclusions that because there's a consensus of you that this is uh, the case, but uh, you need to give us a little bit more data on that. For example, which group of people is it that they're looking at? And uh, it did seem like you had two pieces of data that were inconsistent, 97% in one uh, uh, survey and 82% in the other one. and <clears throat> Some of the uh, criticisms of uh, global warming research are not really addressed, and if, you, if the argument is over whether or not it's real and whether or not there's any controversy on it, it seems strange that you don't address the specific criticisms that are being made. The first group that you cite, for instance, is the IPCC, which has been heavily criticized as uh, not using some scientific procedures in reaching their conclusions, and you don't address that particular topic. Um, you make a generalization about the uh, doubters of this not being um, authorities or scientists themselves, and I, I think that's a, a big general, you know, talk about a sweeping generalization, that covers a lot of territory, and I think that there might be some problems on that. I didn't get any data on the ice caps and the glaciers and the sea level. There seems to be an assumption that's going on there. There's a lot of cause-effect cl uh, claims that are being made in here that need to be developed. I think maybe you're trying to cover too much territory in the speech, and so as a consequence, it just seems so much more like it's an informative speech about what the theory is and why we should see the theory as being uh, serious as opposed to a persuasive speech to convince us that the theory is right, that the criticisms are invalid, or that there's an immediate danger that we should be uh, going to. Uh, for example, in the last part of the speech, you even make a reference to uh, the Gulf temperatures being warmer, and then you suggest that that's a result of global warming, and that's just, I, I've never heard such a thing before. The, the Gulf has always been known for uh, having a warmer temperature in the oceans uh, in, the, in the Gulf. So I'm not quite sure how it's connected to global warming. If there's some, some authority that says so or there's some statistic on that, I, that, you needed to get that into the speech. Like I said, it just seems like there are bits and pieces of things that are being dropped in here that are not being substantiated, although I'm sure that there is some proof on a lot of these points because uh, that's, that's where you got the information in the first place. All right, uh, the presentation I think is a little bit problematic. The pacing is a little uh, slow. There's a lot of reading that goes on there, and it needs to be more forceful. Your eye contact is okay. Uh, you look a little uh, underdressed for the day. You know, maybe something a little bit more professional would be uh, convincing on your ethos, too. All right, but like I said, I did like the uh, exit line that you had. I thought that that sold the idea a little bit more. Okay, thank you.